Densify the lactone formed by the following hydroxycarboxylic acid. In order to do this problem, we don't even have to know what lactone is. All we have to know is Fischer acidification reaction. In this reaction, a carboxylic acid is made into an ester with the use of alcohol and under acidic conditions. So here I have my CW1OOH, which is the carboxylic acid, and my general alcohol ROH, where R can be any alkyl chain. And under acidic conditions, what happens is we get rid of this OH and we replace it with OR, oxygen, and whatever carbons are connected to it. So we go from carboxylic acid group to an ester group. So let's go ahead and look at the specific example we have here, C, double bond OOH, and we have here ethanol and under acidic conditions, and we see that OH here gets replaced, we no longer have OH, and instead we put O, and whatever is connected to it, in this case two carbons, so O with two carbons is our product. So we went from carboxylic acid into an ester. Now let's take a look at our problem here. We have a carboxylic acid. Let's go ahead and highlight it. This is my carboxylic acid right here. But where is our alcohol? Alcohol is usually on the arrow. In this case, the alcohol is a part of the molecule. You see OH here. So this alcohol will be a part of the molecule um, not like a separate alcohol we have seen in the examples below, be, below. This reaction is an intramolecular reaction because one part of the molecule is reacting with another part of the molecule. Now, how would we do this? We will do it basically the same way I have shown before. So this OH group, will we can make it leave. And I'm not showing the actual mechanism, but the trick on how to predict the product. So instead of this OH group, we will have an OR group. But where is our OR group? It's this oxygen and whatever is connected to it. In this case, it's the rest of the molecule. Because one of part of the molecule is attaching to another part of the molecule, it's like a dog biting its tail it makes a ring. So this oxygen is basically attaching to this carbon. So what would it look like? What I will go ahead and do is I will number my carbons to see what kind of, I will number the atoms that are a part of this reaction to see what kind of ring I am creating. So the atom that is attacking and the atom that gets attacked and all of the atoms in between them will get numbered. So I will go like this, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One is the oxygen that attacking and six is the carbon that's getting attacked. So oxygen is attaching to this carbon and everything in between them I have numbered. And now I know that I have a six membered ring and I can just go ahead and number it again. I have to say that numbering is in organic chemistry is so, so, so useful. It basically allows you to not lose any carbons or uh, accidentally to not gain any carbons accidentally and to uh, go ahead and figure out how to correctly draw the product when it is not really obvious what this product would look like. So I really love numbering. So let's go ahead and continue. My number one is oxygen. So this is not a carbon, this is an oxygen. My number two has a methyl group on it. So I put a methyl group on it. My number four has a methyl group on it. So I put a methyl group on it. My number five is nothing. And my number six will have a double bond O. Now remember that this OH left already. So now let's go ahead and look at the answers to see which one would be the correct answer. We can go ahead and eliminate C because this is a six uh, atom ring and this is a five atom ring. And we can eliminate D also because again, we have the wrong number of atoms in our ring. So we will either have A or B. 
Now in A, we have a methyl group next to the double bond O. Here we have a double bond O, but no methyl group next to it. So it cannot be A. So it will be B, we have double bond O, carbon, carbon, methyl group, then carbon, carbon, methyl group, then oxygen. So my answer choice must be B. This is Maya Aluchi from Transformation Tutoring. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. And I really look forward to learn to teaching you more organic chemistry and general chemistry and making more videos for you so they can help you.